This is my third one and I'm starting to feel a little bit buzzy. So, oh shit, and I'm spilling. Like as I'm working away, I'm like, do I have bad breath? Like what's wrong with my breath? Like what the hell just happened? Then I realized that uh, these have been stored for a very long time and I just busted them out of uh, plastic and uh, it's actually the plastics that stank and not my breath. Whew. Starting to get a little bit buzzy, but man, can I have this and still be functional? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Man, it has been what feels like forever since I've been working on Theater of Magic. But tonight is the night. It is Friday night. No, actually, it's Saturday night. And I've decided to just have a white claw or two and work on some theater of magic. So, it's probably literally been a couple weeks since the last episode on this thing. I've been slacking. I've been busy buying machines and doing all kinds of other stuff. But... The key is that now I have the rubbers to progress. I was stuck in a holding pattern for a bit and couldn't progress, but now I can. I have been able to for probably at least a week, just haven't got there yet. This, for the most part, is my Quicksilver. Yep, all this is Quicksilver rebuild stuff. Flipper Vex, plastics, spinner decals, flipper solenoids and spinners so that will be next in the queue and poor theater of magic has sat here untouched for a couple weeks so it is time to take off the blanket and wake this bad boy up there we go okay Does it still even work oh yeah check this out well, it doesn't work if I don't turn on this switch right here. Oh, <laughs> did you not see that? I was looking at the table instead. There you go. There's the switch. That's the magic switch. Okay, so check this out. Ray gave me this. This is the plastic I need for the uh, top of this back glass because this one is just destroyed so i can install that maybe i'll clean it up first it's a little dusty but more importantly if i can uh, spend an hour or two on this thing tonight and i might be able to actually reassemble the whole thing potentially what's this uh, oh, yeah, this is the extra plastics that I may or may not need for this game, so set that aside. And this is what needs to go here, but first, that needs to happen, so let's get started. All right, so this rubber, this, 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 this and this have all been installed and that literally is what was holding up the show and then also this guy this guy and this guy that's basically it the rest of the rubbers wait no I lied I lied these guys here are gonna go on these posts here I'm gonna install those there and then I can start reassembly. All right, there we go. Looks pretty sweet if you ask me. The Titan translucent rubbers are a great choice every time. Pretty sure the gate goes on top there. I'm just gonna reference my photos that I took a while ago and make sure that is correct. Hold on a minute. Looks like I missed a rubber there. Where's my rubbers? And I have one additional 
one of this size here that's going to end up having to go somewhere. So there's that. And um, yeah, so getting a little munchy, got some cashews, getting a little thirsty. I bought these not long ago, so they're um, not exactly uh, cold, but a little white claw natural lime. I'm not even sure I had one of these before, but this is my third one, and I'm starting to feel a little bit buzzy. So, oh shit, and I'm spilling. It's not a good sign. All right, I'm almost done. My third tall boy of White Claw. And I'm thinking I'm starting to feel it. Oh, by the way, this glass, Flying Monkey, was given to me by one Albert Agar. Pretty much one of the first times I ever had him, had him at my house for a league night. He and I um, stayed up the latest and the longest and played till you know, the wee hours of the night, and uh, he left this behind for me as a gift, and still to this day, many, 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 many years later, I am still using it, so there you go. So I've accomplished installing all of the, like, first layer of plastics. Um, I decided to install Lexan washers underneath the slings here. This is the most vulnerable parts of the sling plastics. I'm not sure if these are repros or new old stock, so just a layer of protection there. And like as I'm working away, I'm like, do I have bad breath? Like, what's wrong with my breath? Like, what the hell just happened? Then I realized that uh, these have been stored for a very long time and I just busted them out of uh, plastic and uh, it's actually the plastics that stank and not my breath. So it had me uh, wondering what was going on there for a second. So, oh my God, that's challenging. Got a couple extra washers thus far. The table is looking a little bit less populated, but like I said, layer one is installed. These plastics for the slings, this guy, the skill shot zone, this plastic here, this guy, this guy, this guy, the posts to go with them, this guy, here, 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 the spinner, and this guy. So, starting to come together. I'm calling that layer one. Also, the pop bumper cap. I'm not sure if this guy is prematurely installed or not. We'll find out. Sometimes you have to uh, remove and unremove. Is that a word? Uh, things a few times because I had this in and out and in and out and in because uh, I kept doing it in the wrong order because this plastic needed to go first. Anyway, uh, I think I've accounted for. Almost all of my rubbers, let's see here. I just have two little mini post rubbers left and I think I know where they go. Here's one. And here's the other. That might be it. There's a rubber on the bottom side of the ramp here that I never accounted for. And same with, see these two screws? They also have those same posts and rubbers underneath them, two black rubbers. So I didn't account for those, that's fine. I don't mind that. But uh, I guess, you know, my bag is runneth empty. And in theory, you know, I could maybe put one here but it's not required. So the other guy went here. So I think what I ordered ended up being pretty accurate for my Titan rubber kit. So I probably should add that to the Titan rubber database for anyone else who wants to order the same kit because it took me quite a bit of time to figure out exactly the quantity and sizes of all the rubbers needed for this machine. 
Um, the easiest way, of course, is just to stock 50 of every clear rubber, but, you know, that is not what was happening. So, I think I have enough energy left to potentially install the rest of this stuff and maybe have one more white claw. Whew, starting to get a little bit buzzy, but man, can I have this and still be functional? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. The table is almost empty. I've got this guy to go. There's the two screws for that. And these are kind of the spare washers. I still need to figure out where this crap goes. And so here we go. I'll show you what I've done. I didn't really tighten the wire forms yet. Um, but left ramp, I definitely cleaned the crap out of with Novus 2. I cleaned everything with Novus 2, really. But this guy isn't tightened down yet. This connector needs to go connect to this, which is secured. Actually, that's not even secured yet. Kind of just fit everything loosely just to make sure that, uh, you know, even this plastic here. I don't know if I need to remove any of this stuff to make it all happy just yet. So everything's kind of just dry fit right now. And I'm pretty damn close, you know, so there we are. Layer two is darn near complete, but I'm showing you this because I think I'm going to wrap this up for the night. And I have to figure out where the hell this thing goes and this goes and this goes. Stick that in. So I've got a little more work to do. But I am pretty darn close to the finish line. I am pretty happy with the dent I put in tonight. So I think uh, the next episode I will tighten everything up, put in the last few pieces, put in the tiger saw, and then start uh, play testing, or at least testing all of the ramp switches and LEDs. Make sure that, you know, this switch works and this switch works and this switch works i have to connect all those and yeah just go through all that before i get too ahead of myself put the trunk back on and yeah so you know i put in a pretty decent dent into theater and magic and my fourth white claw is it four I think it was four. Anyway, yeah, a little buzzy. So time to wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you on the next episode. Check this out. So it's Sunday. I came back down tonight. Yesterday's action. I left kind of unfinished. But I am down to one nut. I don't know where the hell that goes, but it don't matter because I've got the play field all completed now and everything all buttoned up and tightened down. So this machine is nearing the finish line and it is looking stunning. Cleaned up real nice. LEDs are beautiful. Oh, I got to connect all the connectors underneath still. I haven't done that yet, but got my trunk back on. My tiger saw, everything is good to go. So obviously I gotta do some play testing and dialing in as well. But the next video will include me installing these, which are friggin' sweet. And probably doing some play testing. Yeah, love it. It's all good stuff. I like the Brian Allen stuff too, but this is really great. I'm, I'm excited to install that. I think 
I might just put on a set of brand new legs that are chrome instead of going the whole gold treatment because that's just going to be like a shitload of money and I have to ship it all out. Well, I guess there's a place in Toronto that I could potentially do or I could just go with brand new chrome legs and it'll match the lock bar and side rails and I think I'd be happy with that. So yeah, what I might do is at least uh, connect the connectors tonight underneath the play field. Oh, I found where this little piece went, right here. That was one of the last pieces on the table. I guess it's just to keep the ramp from bending up. I mean, I don't really see any other function for it, so prevent the ball from launching into the back, I guess. But yeah, so uh, we're getting much closer. But yeah, I figured I'd wrap up the video on this note rather than last night's shenanigans. So see you on the next one.